Hello, I'm Brian Willinghoff, and welcome to L3 Terms Demystified. Today we're going to talk about the fishbone diagram. And before I create a fishbone diagram for you, I want to talk about why we would use one in the first place. The fishbone diagram helps us perform root cause analysis. It helps us get beyond the initial symptoms of what we might be seeing regarding a problem or an opportunity down towards the root cause, where we can really address the problem and improve it long term. Now, one of the things that happens when we get in improvement conversations is we can be stuck in just one way of thinking, based on the first comment that someone makes or based on just what typically has gone wrong in the past. And so we put all of our improvement ideas from that one perspective. What the fishbone diagram helps us do is to make sure that we can never look at just one perspective, but we have at least four different perspectives or ways of looking at the problem. And as we pull that all together, it kind of starts to look like the bones of a fish. Let's go to the board and take a look. So the first reason we want to talk about is why it's called a fishbone diagram in the first place. You're going to have to forgive my artistic abilities somewhat, but we start with the head of the fish. And then we build out this opportunity for root cause problem solving by drawing the bones of the fish out of there as well. Not the best drawing ever, but something that can help demonstrate the point. What goes in the head of the fish is the problem statement. What's at issue? What's wrong? What's our opportunity for improvement? And then each fish bone, each major fish bone, has a different perspective we want to look at the problem from. The most common is the four M's, which starts with man, method, material, and machine. So this encourages us to ask, what is going on with human beings, the people involved, that could be driving the problem? What's going on with the methods, the procedures that we use to create the problem? What about material? Are the materials that we're using affecting the problem? And what about the machine? How is that affecting the problem? So let's walk through a short example to show you how even just in the midst of a meeting, the fishbone diagram can be effective. Let's look at an example where I had trouble getting to work today because I had some car trouble and issues getting in. I wasn't in on time. That's the real problem. Well, what could be driving that from a people perspective? Well, maybe I had car trouble because I wasn't driving well because I got up late. I slept past the alarm that put me in a rush. I wasn't driving well. Maybe I even went off the road a little bit. That could be a human problem. What about the method? Maybe I got lost. That's why I didn't get into work on time, because I didn't have a GPS device to tell me how to get there in the appropriate amount of time. What about material? Maybe I put cheap gas in there. I put bad gasoline in the car, and that caused an issue. The materials that I'm using cause the issue of the problem. Or what about maybe it is the car itself? Maybe we needed an oil change. I haven't done my preventative or routine maintenance. Or maybe there's an issue with the engine that caused the problem. You can see that using this way of thinking, I can come up with many different possible scenarios. And then what we can do is we can investigate to see actually which problem might be the root cause. So we can look at car trouble not getting into work on time and how it might not just be the car itself, but it could be the man, the method, the material, or the machine that's involved and that we're going to need to address if we improve that process. So that's the fishbone diagram. It's a root cause analysis tool that allows us to look at a problem from many different perspectives to help us break out of one way of thinking and help us really get to the root cause. That's the benefit of a fishbone diagram. Just one more L3 term, demystified.